just a little heads up for everybody. Be prepared for some cabinet carnage. Last week, we shared that we are living and working in the bus while we have family in town. We picked up our kitchen cabinets and had a little help loading them into the bus. Pivot. <laughs> we had a costume-themed birthday party where many of you pointed out that I shouldn't try doing accents. I can do better and fast. John started building out our specially designed toe cake drawers. It's one of the things you designed like <laughs> long ago. A year and a half ago. Yeah. With just a week before Mel's surgery, there is apprehension in the air. There is a certain amount of stress that goes on when your loved one is going to go through something like this. We try to get some work done in the kitchen, working on our custom toe kick drawers. And feeling grateful for how far we've come in our bus build. Everything about the interior, we had purposefully planned out. It makes us feel good, and the flow is just so comfortable. We're Mela and Don. We uprooted our lives and left Los Angeles with the dream of converting an MCI D3 40-foot bus into a tiny home on wheels. We are sharing our progress one bite at a time. <laughs> what? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? <laughs> <laughs> Now we just realized that there's an area we never finished by the back of the frame for the driver's chair. It's just got plywood now. So we've got this little slab of leftover linoleum flooring for that area. All right, it's almost the perfect size. The pair of scissors to trim it up. Not a super visible area, but the wood is protected and it all kind of matches and looks streamlined. Eight at 19 and a half. So Don's plan here is to build the frame of the toe kicks and then we add the push to open slides and fit all of our toe kick cabinets into the frame. progress now. It's getting a little bit humid and muggy here. So Mella's turned on the air conditioning. It'll be the first time we'll be able to actually work in the bus with air conditioning. We're just going to glue the conduits together so that everything is nice and secure in there for our wires before we close that area up with cabinets and toe kicks, etc. To come through? <laughs> So the old inch and a half is not gonna work, are they? I promise not to drill the screw in my foot. <laughs> do, do you trust him? 
You did just see the screws go through the bathroom wall, so. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think those screws are going through my foot. So Don, one of the viewers asked on last week's video, uh, if you ever thought that Don would get this involved with construction and electrical like he is doing in this build. Well Don's a pretty talented person so nothing surprises me, but I never really thought he'd go into construction work, uh, you know, with his background that he did for school and what he does for a living, but uh, it doesn't surprise me that he can do it. Well hey, hello. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> Welcome to the toe kick party. Oh, not much space in this area. <laughs> <laughs> Does it look like a toe kick brace? Yeah. Good. <laughs> well, we got Megan, fool. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Megan, our sister-in-law, and if you are a long time viewer, <laughs> you should recognize her. So if you do, comment below. Okay, let's see if it goes on. Look at this craftsmanship. How do you like having so many assistants? <laughs> they get a towel and dab you a smit over yes. your face and we'll give Megan the water bottle. You take Just a quick sip. <laughs> like in the boxing <laughs> ring. Bella, you want to give it a try? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah, that shoots out better. Now's the moment of truth. We got to get the wine models. Okay. <gasps> you don't have any wine? <laughs> See, look at that. Wine drawer complete. Yay. So what you do is you give yourself a guide. You can just lay on top there. And you just make little marks where your holes are. But you're going to need to screw it in. And then you use your marks to draw a line. Then you line up your holes where your line is. You should make your own YouTube video about how to put in draw slides. <laughs> and then you make sure it still shuts. And it does. Here we go. The rest are all exactly the same. So <laughs> hopefully. Oh, no, smoother. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> Drill, please. And the other bit. <laughs> Is it that one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How many people does it take to drill in a screw? Three. <laughs> yep. In this bus it does. <laughs> Next slide, please. Two of them in there, yeah. There's two in there. That's, That's it. That's all there is. Oh, man. So we can do two more drawers. And then we need enough slides for two more. Yep. I guess I'm going to have to get on the Amazon and see if we can get one. Express the liver. Yeah. Don, somebody wanted to know what's on your arm. Somebody had, thought I had a smudge or oil. A burn? <laughs> it's a tattoo of my lucky number, lucky number eight. <laughs> You've got a lucky number eight on your uh, hat there, too. On my what? On your hat. Yeah. I do? Yeah, look at your hat. I mean, oh, that. <laughs> there screws wrong. underneath there? Oh. Yeah. Huh? Oh, <laughs> look. There was some facing up. It was yeah. sticking up. <laughs> no, something's not good. This looks like uh, See the height between here and here? Oh, yep, yep. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little cocky about having your method down. There we go. Okay, let's try it again. All right, let's get it back in place. How come this one sits further back than the other ones? Because it has a face on it that's not on yet. Oh. All right, 
So look at that, real okay. close. Well, we have to stop there because we don't have any more draw slides. <laughs> the right size. The right size. So we're going to have to try and get some more of those. And it is Bernard and Megan's last night here. So we're going to go have a barbecue and have some fun. So we'll get back to this, I guess, when we have some more draw slides. I really prefer to do projects that I can get started and get done in the time that I have. I hate to just have to stop because sometimes that's all I do is dream about it overnight. Today I'm going to see if I can get some more of our furring strips cut to finish mounting our LED lighting. Mella's away, so I'm gonna see if I can get this done and have a little surprise for her when she gets in. Huge thanks to LED Supply for setting us up with all of our light strips, as well as motion activated sensors that we're going to use down in the luggage bay. Now I got the lights running all the way to one side of the coach. We want to have a little bit of indirect lighting that runs up this side. Well, I managed to get the LED lighting run all the way down one side of the coach here and then a little bit over on the driver's side, just where we are able to have it in the back. Just got to get to work on the trim now, but I'm going to wrap it up here for the day. I'm sad to say that it is time to pack up and move out of the bus and back into the house. I am about a week away from my surgery and I need to get myself situated inside. The recovery from a hysterectomy is about six weeks. I need to make sure I have easy access to the bathroom and the shower. There's definitely something to be said about living in a place that you have built and designed. The past couple weeks, amazing for us, was to just be in the space that everything about the interior, we had purposefully planned out. Everything about the aesthetics we like, makes us feel good, and the flow was just so comfortable. So many people would say, oh, this is taking forever, this is a huge project. You should've just bought an RV. This is one of the many reasons why we're doing our own conversion. And I keep thinking that fall is coming. <laughs> There's little signs like the mornings are cooler. But man, the days can still be so humid and gross. <sighs> I'm so excited for fall to come. I'm gonna try to finish up the trim for the indirect lighting that we have down the sides of the bus. I'm cleaning the toilet. It's a terrible time to come and film. How's that toilet clean going? You're not supposed to show toilet cleaning on YouTube. Uh-oh. Do you think we're going to get blocked? People will think, oh, gross. Oh, we showed, we talked about urine last week. <laughs> That's true. This is 
this last piece. I hope it fits. Namella asked if we could put uh, brown light switches to match our wood there. So I'm gonna switch all these out real quick. about it. It's cool. I want to take a moment and just uh, open up a little bit. Mel has been really brave about talking about her upcoming surgery and trying to prepare, get as healthy, rested, de-stressed as possible. I've been trying to be as supportive as I can. Um, but there is a certain amount of stress that goes on when your loved one is going to go through something like this with surgery. Especially when the, you talk to the doctor and they say, you know, you know, there's the chance of death anytime you use anesthesia. So it's kind of a, <laughs> it's just, I know she is the one that's going through this, but I'm trying to be supportive, but I'm still anxious about it. If I haven't really talked about it, until now, I guess it's mostly because I deal with stress by burying myself in projects and just trying to keep focused on our bus build. So by focusing on those things, the things that I can control, like moving forward with building out our bus, being in a better place when she does recover, that's the way that I'm dealing with the stress of the situation. Now she may not be able to do much vlogging for a week, maybe two weeks. The full recovery until she can actually lift anything is six weeks time. So I hope you guys don't mind spending more time with me. I'll do my best to be as entertaining as Mel is, but I don't know if there's any way I'm gonna be as good looking. It looks like our drawer slides are here. The obstacle that we face here with putting these drawer slides in is the same obstacle that we have anytime we build any furniture in the bus, is that we don't have walls of straight lines. So in order to get those drawer slides to have a nice smooth ride, everything needs to be lined up perfectly. If the side brace is just slightly off, as the drawer tries to open and close, it gets sticky. So we can't secure the brace to the wall because it's not a straight line. So our next thought is let's just secure it with little brackets down to the ground. And once you put the top on, everything will be secured in place anyway. But in order for us to get these drawer slides in first, we need this brace to be secure. I am starting to burn out here. It's just muggy here. I wanted to have like half a day off and it hasn't happened. Kneeling is bad on my back. I'm kinda grumpy. It's a little humid in here already. <laughs> Are you complaining? Yes. <laughs> the only thing that I'm thinking is gonna make me happy is a back brace? No. A back brace and turning our air conditioner on.
the most fun day. But they're done. Toe kick drills are in. We're gonna go for a walk, walk out some frustrations, and then come back and continue putting the top of the toe kick base together. Together. Yep. Okay. Right there, that's good. First piece for the top of the cook tick braces in and all the toe kicks function. How do you feel about the toe kicks? I feel grand. It's been a rough morning in here. <laughs> so I think we both woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. But now that it's done, I'm happy. <laughs> It'd be really nice if we could get all these cabinets moved over to their homes. Just a little heads up for everybody. One of the cabinets needs to be modified. We have to cut a giant chunk out of it. Yeah. So be prepared for some cabinet carnage. <laughs> we just have this little piece which we have to add the top of the toe cake onto and then we can stop putting our cabinets on top. Did lunch uh, rejuvenate you or uh, uh, <laughs> did it have the opposite effect? No, I'm okay. I'm ready to go. I want to get this done. I want to get those cabinets moved over here. We decided these corner toe kicks we just didn't want to do drawers there. There there would be so small anyway and tiny and it's not worth the effort. We're just going to close in those toe kicks. I feel like we've got a lot of extra storage going all the way down the bus here and I don't think it's going to be all that necessary and it's not worth the drawer slides. We've moved on to putting cabinets over here and realizing the first cabinet we need to get in the right space is the corner cabinet. Unfortunately we have to pick, take a big chunk out of it because that is where our conduit channel is for all of our electrical. We're going to cut the cabinet, create the channel in the back of the cabinet, and yes, we're going to cut a giant chunk out of this cabinet. We may need to reinforce it a little bit. What's it say about <laughs> cutting a giant chunk out of the cabinet? It says that you don't do that. <laughs> not in the instructions. Hey, how are you feeling about the kitchen? Uh, I'm feeling good about it, except I'm confused about what's happening in the corner now. Put our cabinets in place and discovered it looks like when you mock up the design that the cabinet takes up all the space in the corner, but it's not really that way. There's the cabinet and then they want you to just shift it up three inches and make your countertop go over that space. So it's three inches on one side of the, ca of the corner cabinet and three inches on the other side they want you to just waste and we thought that was usable space. Yeah, so put it together and have a look, see what we really need for the door to open and then take it from there as to how we're gonna do it, how we'll modify it. So if you didn't understand what we were talking about, why we're having so much confusion, maybe this answers it. When we go to open this corner drawer, it would smack into this one or block it if it's in the place where we wanted to put it. What we're gonna do now is put the bottom drawer in to the cabinet next to it so that we can make sure the cabinets would open or at least find what our minimum distance is for them to open up the way we'd like them to. Well the drawer went together really easy. It's um, a combination of pressed wood on the bottom and then metal on the sides and the way they've built it it just gives you some options of how you use your drawer. They're like dividers that can fit onto these metal pieces in the side um, 
that can help you separate and organize everything inside your drawer. Yes, that's it. So let's see what happens if we do it the way we want it. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, they can't open it. So I think we found a workaround for how to space these out so that both the drawer and the door can open but we use a lot less space. I understand that in a house, losing three inches on the side of the back is not a big deal, but I've seen a tiny space that kind of matters and you don't need a full three inches. They give you these frillers that you're supposed to put into those gaps, but we're actually turning them this direction. Problem solved, but I guess we just, we've never put together a corner cabinet. <laughs> just didn't know. Um, so that's how blind corner cabinets work. So now we can cut out the space we need out of that cabinet so that all our wiring can continue to run up the wall there. All right, the first thing you want to do when you get your kitchen cabinet is start chopping it up with a saw. We're just going to put uh, the door back on and put the spacer on and make sure everything's going to fit the way that we want it. The afternoon had a rough start. It's like dive on. I thought we were going to lose that space, but then it went up because things are going in together pretty nicely. We got to wait and fall till this uh, silicone dries up for this fuller piece. So we can't move forward with the rest of that until that dries, so we'll be back tomorrow. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become the weather has changed drastically today. Fall is definitely coming and I'm pretty happy about that. I'm just days away now from my surgery and I'm so ready for it. I've been waiting oh, for such a long time and I feel like I've done all the prep work. I even did some somatic experiencing, which is a therapy to help prepare your body for the trauma that it's going to go through with surgery. Even though you are under anesthetic and you're asleep and you're not really there, your body is aware of what's happening to it. And it's just a way of kind of preparing your body so your body knows what's going to happen to it. Um, so if you're having a surgery, especially if you're anxious about the surgery, a lot of people do it for a dental surgery. <laughs> Take a look, somatic experiencing, very, very helpful. Something in there? And I'd just like to take this moment to say thank you to all of the women who reached out over comments and messages to me and shared their experiences with fibroids or hysterectomies and offered up their support. It really means a lot to me. I feel very blessed to have so many women out there rooting for me. Pizzicato knows that Don is in the bus. <laughs> She just wants to be with him all the time. She's trying to figure out how she can get in there with him. Now we can put all our cabinet drawers and sink in place so fancy! <laughs> and finally made it to my surgery date. It's 5.15 in the morning and we're heading to the hospital. 
but we'll share that with you next time. So one thing that keeps happening this week is going in to take a shower at my mom and dad's house, but I keep forgetting to bring my clothes. So I have to go back to the bus and get clean clothes.